Hi there. Now for this question then, we're given this solid here and we're told that the cross section is the trapezium, that's A, B, C, D, and we've got to show that y equals 320 over x squared, given that the volume of the letterbox is 9,600 centimeter cubes. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So what we need to do is to connect this volume here then to the length y. Well, we should be familiar with the fact that if you've got a prism, that is, it's a solid where we've got the same cross section throughout the length. Let's just mark this in red. That's the cross section, the trapezium then. We should be familiar then with the fact that the volume is equal to the area of the cross section, just call it A, times the length L. And so for this question then, all we've got to do is work out the area of the cross section, times it by the length back, which is Y, and equate that to 9600. Rearrange our equation and we should find that we get Y equals 320 over X squared. So that's where we're going with this and so therefore if I look at the area of the end being a trapezium remember you've just got to do the sum of the parallel sides that's the 9x plus the length BC which is the same as the length FG back here 6x. So it's going to be the sum of the parallel sides that's 9x plus 6x that is all multiplied by the distance between the parallel sides, which is 4x, and you divide that by 2. Okay, that's the area of a trapezium. Sum of the parallel sides times the distance apart, all divided by 2. Then we have to multiply that by the length back to get the volume. So that length back is y, and that volume is going to be 9,600. So there's our equation. All we need to do now is just tidy it up. I can see that this 2 here will cancel into the 4 twice. That will just save me a bit of time, I think. 9x plus 6x is 15x. Times it by 2, you got 30x. Times it with this x, that's 30x squared. And the y now is 30x squared y. So 30x squared y equals 9,600. And then... Clearly, if I make y the subject by dividing both sides by 30x squared, then the 30 divides into the 9,600 320 times. So you end up with 320 then, all divided by x squared. And there you go.